Hello. Good evening, guys. Can you hear me well? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for confirming. Because I think today is going to rain again. It's going to rain cats and dogs like yesterday. So I was just. <sighs> Hopefully, nothing will interfere with the class. I'm hoping so. But if it does, you already know it's because it's going to rain really hard. Is it raining where you live, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, it's raining right now. It's raining. It's raining. Is it raining like a good rain, or is it raining cats and dogs? Cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's raining really hard this lately. Yeah, it's it's. I don't know. The, it was supposed to be a tropical depression. I don't know if you heard about it in the news. Well, or at least saw it on Facebook or somewhere. I don't know. Did you? Yes, uh, it was really bad. Yeah, and, okay. and they were saying that it was going to be for the whole weekend, right? If I'm mistaken. Yes, I... I think that it will be today, um, the next day. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, hopefully I can teach you the class because I have heard that you already postponed some of the classes, like you had to reschedule. I think you have had to reschedule like three classes or four classes. Like with the other teacher, I think you had to, to reschedule some classes. Uh, yes, three classes. Three classes? I think it was three yeah. classes. Okay, okay. So that's like enough time to reschedule in, in a module. So hopefully I won't have to do it. I am hoping that I won't have to do it, but the rain, sometimes you never know with the rain. And also with the, remember the time that we didn't have electricity? I think it was last week. The power went out. Yeah, or something like that. Yes, that was <laughs> one of the classes that we missed. Exactly. So everything was crazy. Anyways, um, I'm hoping we don't have to cancel. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping on it. I'm. I'm. I'm I don't know. I, I just hope so. <laughs> and I don't know. This week has been long week for me guys i don't know if it, you can see it on my face i'm tired <laughs> but i'm trying to be here and i'm trying to teach the class because that's what we're here for okay anyways i'm gonna call roll you know what is called roll <coughs> Not you don't know cold roll okay cold roll means to go to attendance. So if I say I'm going to call roll, it means that I'm going to start with the attendance. OK? So I'm going to call roll in this moment because it's 8.05 already. And yep, wait a second. Hey, okay, you're the group 23. So sometimes it's hard to find your your attendance, 23, 23, 23. It's here. Okay, I want to go. Hmm? I'm going to mute your audio because we were listening to your baby. <laughs> so I'm going to mute it. Okay, if you knew, guys, the things that I have heard during the Zoom meetings, some, I don't know, sometimes it's, I, I don't know. That's why I like to mute my students. We don't know, we don't need to know everything that happens in your house. We don't. <laughs> okay, number one, Axel Gabriel Rivera Rodriguez. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. David Samuel. Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Okay. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. 
Okay. Uh, Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Okay. Fatima Lourdes Caitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. It's not here? Okay. Uh, it's not. Wait. I have to go with this. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's there. Okay, next one. Um, Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Not here either. Okay. Freddy Vladimir Cortez Lopez. I'm here. Okay. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. No. Kenny Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Not here either. Madeline Yamilet Molina Gonzalez. Present teacher. Madeline, you have to stay with me the extra 10 minutes today. Is okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Manuel de Jesus Sanchez Men Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Marlon Stanley Ramirez Reyes. Present teacher. Okay. Thelma Cleotilde Peña Martinez. Okay. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, perfect. So we're missing a few students. I hope we don't miss many of them again. Okay, let's see. Okay, hopefully it won. Okay, perfect. Welcome guys again to this class. Um, today we have some interesting topics as well as, as yesterday. We're always gonna do pronunciation practice. We're gonna get um, to know like idioms that will help us to express or talk about many different things in a more native way. Instead of saying things like we usually do, like the one that I'm using a lot lately, it's raining really heavy or it's raining really bad. Instead of saying that, I'm gonna say, it's raining cats and dogs. And you will understand that it's a really bad rain. So that's what we're gonna do from now on, besides the pronunciation practice. I think that you have mostly uh, work on the pronunciation of the tongue twister ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. And remember, the most important thing is not to say it fast. And I think I have said this a couple of times. It's about how you say every single word. It's not about if you say it really fast, it's that you say it correctly. Because sometimes people misunderstand speaking English with a perfect pronunciation and speaking English really fast, okay? Sometimes I have had some of these students or even co-workers, they think that if they speak really fast, they will prove to other people that they can speak English like really good. And it's not about that. It's never about that. In my case, as a teacher and all the teachers should be like this, we have to say every single word when we're speaking because you need to hear the pronunciation of every single word. So don't try to say the tongue twister as fast as you can. Well, that's the purpose, yes. But the main purpose is for you to say every single word correctly, okay? Now, I know that you know the pronunciation of every single word and the pronunciation of every single letter. But what about B and V? That's a mistake that we do. So I'm gonna start just to show you how, well, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna prove something, but later. I'm just gonna start with a new tongue twister for today because you are advanced level. So I think ice cream, you scream, wall scream for ice cream, it's already there. So 
But I have a question. Have you practiced this tongue twister by yourself when we're not in class? Aha. Uh -huh. It's one person I, I see saying yes. What is that? Okay, the other one's not. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, remember, it's like going to the gym. If I don't do it regularly, nothing will change. I don't know if you get it. Like, if I'm just doing the same things I do, nothing will happen. If I want to improve my pronunciation, I have to train my pronunciation. So maybe every single time that I have, I don't know, just a few seconds, even if you have a minute, even if you have only one minute, how many times can we say that tongue, that tongue twister in one minute? Have you tried? I don't know. Well, that's an interesting question. If you only had one minute to practice, just one minute, how many times will we say the tongue twister in that minute? How many times do you think? I'm going to try to do it. Yeah. Maybe it sounds crazy to you, but I want to figure out. Okay, so ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream, ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream, ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream, ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream, ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream, ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream, ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream, ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream. And yeah, it hurts and it's there by my even my tongue, even though me, because I'm not a native speaker. So I got tired and you see, I got tired at 13 seconds, almost 14 seconds. So if I have a minute to practice, that will be more than enough, don't you think? Or do you think it's hard to take one minute to practice that? Nope. And I assure you, if you practice the tongue twisters at least one minute a day, you're gonna improve your pronunciation big time. Just try to do it. Try to practice one minute. Maybe like every time you eat, one minute in the morning, one minute in the middle of the day, and one minute at night. Maybe something is gonna happen. I'm just letting you know that. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But it will help you, okay? Yes? It's a challenge. Maybe you can do it. Now, I'm gonna go again with another tongue twister because this one, it's gonna help you with many pronunciations, especially when we have T together, the letter T together with other letters, that is gonna be, wait, wait a second, because there are, every time you look for a tongue twister, there are gonna be many versions of it. Just wait a second, I'm looking for the correct one. This is English Corporativa. Oh my God, guys, it's gonna rain cats and dogs. I can feel it. Ah, that's not good. That's not good. I hope nothing interferes with this class. Okay, wait, wait give me a second. Okay, the tongue twisters that we're gonna go with from now on, it's called Betty Butter Peanut Butter. If you say it quickly, it sounds like you're rapping. But if you say it in a slow way, it sounds really good. So I'm gonna try to share my screen with you. I don't know what is this on Twitter. Just wait a second. Give me one moment, guys. From here, from here. Oh, I have the one that the other classmates say, how much wood would I would check, 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 Okay, the one that we're gonna practice goes like this. Betty but a bit of butter, but the butter Betty but was bitter, so Betty butter better, but and it was better than the butter Betty but before. That's what you're gonna do, okay? Don't worry, wait a second. Okay. Maybe it sounds like you're rapping and you're like, what is that? What is the teacher saying? But with time and practice, you're gonna get there and you're gonna see that it's fun to do, okay? So it goes like that. I'm gonna say it a little bit slower. 
very bad a bit of butter, but the butter very bad it was bitter. So very bad a better butter, and it was better than the butter very bad before. Now, if you ask me, and in Spanish, teacher, what is the meaning? Don't sisters, they don't need to have a meaning, okay? They don't need to make sense. They just need to be funny to say, okay? So this is the one, look at this. Betty is the name of a person, but is the past of? Dubai. Exactly. Dubai. A bit of is a little bit. A bit of butter. Do you know what is butter? Yes. Like we can cook with butter, for example, chicken, fish. Exactly. Butter, and like peanut butter. Yeah, we can eat it with bread. Exactly, exactly. That's what it is. And then says, but the butter, baby, but was bitter. What is the meaning of bitter in this case? Amargo. Exactly. So, very but a better. What is better? Mejor. Exactly. Butter. And it was better than the butter, very but before. Okay? So, it's just like that. If you say it slow many times, say it slowly, and then you can go with speed. But remember again, the pronunciation of every single word is the most important part. Now let's go again. Betty, but. This pronunciation, many people say it like bout. And the bout, I don't know where you get it from. It's but. Like <coughs> B A T. But the E, I mean, the A, it's long. Because if you say bat, that's like Batman, okay? Don't say Batman, it's not bat, it's bot, oh. bot, oh. like with two A's. <clears throat> so it's very, bout, no, it's bot, bot, very bot. Let me show you, because some students get, well, many people get that mistake, like bot. I'm going to show you. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. Okay, look. You see, if you look for it on, on Google, it will show you this is the transcription of the pronunciation. You see, it's two A's because the A is long. So don't say bout, it's just but. 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 Slow, but. 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 It's just but. Don't say bout. <coughs> because that's not correct. But. Okay, you see? But. So very but. But. Just like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go back here. What is it? Okay, I'm gonna say it again. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought a better butter, and it was better than the butter Betty. But before, I have a question for you guys. How do you say muy bien in English? Very well. Very well. Pretty well. Very okay. well. Very well. Yeah? Can you oh. say that again? Doing well. No, but can you just say this part? Maybe I'm going to write it so you can say it. Very well. Very well. Very well. Very well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's what it is here. So here is the thing. Maybe it's going to be fun for you. When you say very well, you're saying Betty bien. Because Betty 
it's the name of a person. <coughs> the, correct, <coughs> the correct pronunciation of that word is very, very, very well, very well. Very well. Very because well. the pronunciation of the letter B and the letter V are different. They are different. For, for example, <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. You must drink water. What is it? <coughs> you must drink water. Yeah, I, think, I think I need to drink some A water. Of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that i'm working you're not working i'm working i'm gonna get in trouble oh okay. <laughs> no 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 okay so <clears throat> b is with both lips b b and then in the second pronunciation it's in both teeth and lip the down like the, the upper lip doesn't have anything to do with this lip and you say v v so that's why when you say very good, it's different. And you see, <coughs> I'm sorry, guys, give me a second, okay? Okay, thank you guys, thank you very much. But I think, <clears throat> I don't think it's allergies, I think it's potion. So I I, I smelled the potion for ants and that got me, that got me something, okay. <clears throat> okay, anyways, so if we try to say it like this, very good, even saying that we're gonna sound different, you see, very good, instead of saying very good. You hear the difference? Very good. I'm very good. Yo soy very good. So it's like, is that your name? No. I'm very good. Very good. <coughs> so that's why I wanted to show you the tongue twister because the pronunciation very, it's a name. It's not muy. It's a name. Very, no. You see? Very, mm -mm, incorrect. Very, very good. That's why sometimes one of the first phrases that we learn in English is, I love you. Que bonito, si me la no? I love you, okay? And that's what we learned. But no, it's not like that because you're saying it incorrect. Luego terminan, and the, the, why did, you, the, did they break up? They say, I love you, exactly, because that's not the pronunciation. The pronunciation is love here, and it's to go like that. I love you. I love you. It's different than I love you. Then it's different. So, I love you <clears throat> Manuel, tell me. No, nothing. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't hear you the first time. Okay, yeah. But, oh, you say me too. I was saying, I love you. He said, <laughs> okay, so it's love, very love. That's why when I say we're gonna play a video, it's not video, it's video. I'm gonna play a video for you, video. That's why it sounds different. Actually, the V sounds like with a vibration, V, video. And the other one is but, very, very, but, you see? Just look at my lips here. Very, but, very good. Love, video, video, very, video, very. You, you see the difference or you don't? <clears throat> so that pronunciation is very important. Very important, you see? Very important. It's not very important. <laughs> it, it looks different. It, it sounds different. So that's what we're going to be practicing today. Let's go back here to make it long. So, very, but, 
a bit of butter. But, butter, very, but was bitter. So, very, but a better butter. And it was better than the butter, very, but before. Okay, <clears throat> now you repeat after me, please. Very but, very but, a bit of, a bit of, a bit of butter, butter, butter. but the butter, but, but the butter. butter, very but, very but, but was bitter, was, was bitter. bitter, so, so, so very but, very but, a better butter. A a better, 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 and it was better and, and it was better, was better than the butter than the butter, butter very but very but, but before 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 excellent don't say before it's not before before sounds before. like Clifford and Clifford is not it's before <laughs> okay before remember that in English we don't have tildes so we don't have that that, <clears throat> that place in a word, but we do have stress. You know what is stress in English? Yeah. Stress. What is the stress? Not like stress from work. No, no, no. What is stress in English? Do you know that? The sound. The sound? What? What kind of song? The strong song, teacher. It's sound. a strong syllable. Yes, correct. So that's why if, we, if I say before, yes. before, it's incorrect. Before is correct. You see? Before, it, it's the same pronunciation, but the stress in a, is in a different syllable. Before, before is not correct. Okay. So take a screenshot of this and we're going to practice. You see? I said it many times, the ice cream one in a minute. So maybe we can say this one many times in a minute as well. Very but a bit of butter, but the butter very but was bitter. So very but a better butter and it was better than the butter very but before. So it took me five seconds, well, almost six seconds to say it. That's my case, that's my case. So if a minute has 60 seconds and I took six seconds to say this, obviously it's gonna be 10 times. So I'm gonna say this thing, this thing, this thing, 10 times in a minute, 10 times in a minute. That's me, that's me. I'm not telling that you, that you have to do the same, but I'm telling you that even if you have only one minute to practice or two minutes to practice, you're gonna improve, okay? So that's why I'm gonna give you some time to practice with your classmates, but I want you to practice in your houses by yourselves. Maybe if you drive to work and you drive alone, just start saying it, okay? Just start, like, I speak to myself in English when I'm driving. I look like a crazy woman, but a crazy woman, woman who knows English and who speaks English, okay? That's what you need to do as well. <laughs> okay, we're gonna practice. And <clears throat> remember, practice, practice, practice. Let's see, um, David needs to go in the same break room. David, David, what is yes, that? Yes, David is here, so I'm gonna move this person. Okay, let's go, practice. Remember, practice a lot of times, as many times as you can.
No me da mentira. Hello, my name is Diana. How can I help you? No, you ready to help us. <laughs> you you wanted to share the screen? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I I well, it, it's on now. You can share now. What is yeah. it? Teacher, what is the better pronunciation? Butter, butter. It's butter. But butter. butter, butter. It's butter is the American pronunciation, like the most common one. But if you say butter, that's you're talking butter. like Harry Potter. Yeah, butter. yeah. <laughs> exactly like Harry Potter. It's right to say butter. Yes. But as the American pronunciation, we're going to say butter. butter. Or else butter. you're going to say like you're butter. 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 No, but just imagine that like, you will have to say the tongue twister in a different way. If you say like with the British accent, it's going to be Betty Bart, a bit of butter. But the butter, Betty Bart, it was bitter. So Betty Bart, a bit of butter. And it was better than the butter, but it was before. Something like that. It's gonna sound weird. So it's very bad a bit of butter. 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 Okay. Yes. <laughs> if you if you listen to the uh, uh, England British, they they say butter. Yeah, exactly. Betty. Betty bought a bit of butter. Betty bought a bit of butter. Yeah, but we're saying Betty bought a bit of butter, okay? <laughs> Don't get bought confused. A bit of butter. Betty bought a bit of butter. Exactly. exactly. But butter, Betty bought was bit. It's not bought, it's bought. 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 Bought.
मेरी बात आप भी तो बारे मेरी बात पसबीरण सो मेरी बात आप मेरे बारे इट वॉज बेटर दान दे बारे मेरी बात बिफोर ओके मेरी बात अभी तो बात बारे मेरी बात वॉज बेटर सो मेरी बात अभी मेरी बात अवेर बारे and it was better than the barrel very bad before marlon <coughs> very uh, okay very bad a bit of butter but the butter very bad was bitter so very bad a better butter and it was better than the butter very bad before Peter's butter, but the butter very bad for Peter. So very bad, a better butter, and it was better than the butter very bad before. Very bad, a Peter's butter, but the butter very bad was Peter. So very bad, a better butter, and it was better than the butter very bad before. Okay, let's start. Who? Who's next? You, Lanquita. Me. Yes, everybody already participated. <laughs> very bad, a bit. Me too. I, I already participate. Very bad, a bit, a bit of butter, but the butter very buff was bitter. So very bad, a bit of butter. And it was better than the butter very buff before. Very buff, a bit of butter, but the butter very buff was bitter. So very bad, a bit of butter. And it was better than the butter very buff before. Okay, my turn. Very bad, a bit of butter, but butter very bad was bitter. So very bad, very bad, and it was better, very bad before. Very bad, very bad. Now you're doing better. Try again. Very mm bad, -hmm. a bit of butter, but the butter very bad was bitter. So very bad, a bit of butter. And it was better than butter berry, but before. Good job, Thelma. Just if when you say better, okay, say better because I heard Peter, okay? Right. There, you said it says a better butter. Can you repeat that part? A better butter? Better butter. Uh -huh. Exactly. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you to you.
Hello, welcome back. So <clears throat> at the beginning, when I said the tongue twister the first time, you were like, oh, that's impressive, teacher. How can you do this? But now that you have practiced, it's not that difficult, right? It's not difficult. Do you did you feel that it was difficult? Yeah, for me, yes. It's difficult. Mm, but okay, Francisco, I want to hear you say it. Now I'm curious about it. No, teacher. Yeah, say it. Come on. Why me? Because if you want to improve, then I yeah. will help you improve. Do you, want me, do you want me to share the screen or you have it? I have. Okay. I tried. <laughs> Try it. Okay. Very bad of beer of butter. But the beer, but the butter very, but it was bitter. So very bad, a very bad. And it was better than the butter very bad before. You know what? Sometimes I think you, you say that you can do it just so I ask you to do it. Because you did a good job. Yes. Yeah, you did a good job. You did a good job. You did. Okay, the, like I told you yesterday, boundaries are here. Boundaries are there. So you did a good job. Maybe you need to practice a little bit more because you were hesitating, like, bad, bad, and you were, you were thinking, but that's normal because that's something new for you. But if you practice, everything is going to be good. So it was good, Francisco. I think it was good. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. Believe in yourself. That's the first thing you need to do. Believe in yourself. Okay. Let's go. That's why I ask my students in the school. <laughs> well, doesn't have anything to do with this. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna let it up because sometimes I start start to speak and boom. Okay, I, I, I erase the topic. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Who wants to Who say it? Say it. Me teacher. Okay, David, go ahead. But please share the screen. Okay, yeah. Mm, wait a second. Okay, thank you. Very bad, a bit of butter, but the butter very bad was bitter. So very bad, a better butter, and it was better than the butter very bad before. Excellent, but good job. Maybe you just try to say a little bit more that are butter. Butter, butter, more stronger or no, more soft? With R, bu with butter, 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 no, butter, 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 ah, uh, yeah, 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 butter, butter, and better, better, butter. Uh huh, exactly. That's what it is. Okay. Hey, there you go. Okay, excellent. Okay, thank you. Excellent, David. Thank you. Okay. okay. Who? Mm. Me? If you want to share the... Okay, okay. I'm going to... Okay. Okay. So, I think you did a good job, but I don't know if it was only me, maybe, but it was the audio was a little bit frozen. Like with yes. interference, yeah, right, yeah. Listen. Yes. Yeah, it, it was something like that. Okay, Manuel, I think I think you did a good job because I heard some words and the words that I could hear were good, <laughs> but yeah, I think the audio. But can you hear me well, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. okay. So it was his, uh, his okay. side of the internet. Okay, yeah, okay. Because if it is my side. If it is my internet, then the whole class stops. <laughs> so that's why I don't, I don't want my internet to be like that. Okay. Anybody else? Nope. One, two, three. Okay, let's go and to the next part of the class. Or do you want to say it, William? You were raising your hand. No? Okay, okay. I thought I, I thought I saw your hand. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. Uh, what is it, William? No, sorry? No, nothing. Okay, okay. 
Okay, so you see now, if I say very good, I don't say very good, because very good is a person and very good, it's muy bien. So that's what you need to uh, practice by now. Okay, every time that you have the time, try, try to practice, because this is gonna help you with your pronunciation, okay? Let's go here, build vocabulary, go find me. Wait, I have some words here. Can you see these words? Yeah. Okay, so these words are there to describe well, terms related to millennials, the topic we have been talking about. So the first one is job hoppers. Second one, job tenure. Third one, stereotypes. And the last one, boost. So do you know the meaning of all of these words? No, teacher. No, you don't know it? Okay, so no. that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna try to figure out the meaning of the meanings of these words by looking them on the internet. Sometimes people are like, hey teacher, but I don't know what is the meaning. Well, we have a really, really, really good um, source right now. Nowadays we have a great source and we have the internet. But I'm gonna ask you this. Every time you don't know a word in English, where do you translate that word, that word? Google Translate. Google. Google Translate. The most of the time, Google Translate. That's a mistake. Because Google Translate, it's very, very, very close. So it doesn't give you the whole context on one thing. I'm going to tell you an example, and this is a funny story that happened to me with one of my students. So we were in basic level very basic level. We were talking about prepositions of place. In, on, not, above, next to, behind, in between, everything. You know that already. So we were talking about that. And I showed them a picture. And I said, okay, in this picture, you see many things happening. I need you to write at least five statements with prepositions of place in this picture. So there was a boy and above the boy, there were balloons. Do you know the meaning of balloon? No. Exactly. How do we call balloons in El Salvador? Vejigas. Exactly. So here's the situation. She went on Google Translator and she wrote or she typed exactly that. Hay vejigas arriba del niño. So vejigas is an organ, right? That we have inside <laughs> of our body. And this person wrote, there are livers above the kid. Vejigas as in organs. And I was like, what? This is creepy. This is scary. Why did you write that? So this person said, teacher, I'm sorry. I went to Google Translator and I translate Ay, vejigas arriba de mí. So that's a mistake. If you want to translate something, use word reference, lingua, they will give you the context. For example, let me show you. It's here. Okay. So you can you you can see this right? So this is word reference that from English to Spanish, or I can change it Spanish to English. Okay. For example, here. Let's talk about phone. 
Okay, if you go here, look, phone. It says in the US, the pronunciation is, and give you the pronunciation. Wait, I'm gonna share my audio. You see? Phone. Phone. The UK? Phone. 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 Okay. What is the meaning of phone? You see here? Phone, informal of telephone. In Spanish, telefono. We have an example. She answered the phone when it was raining. So, phone, and here we have the both of the sentences. So we can see in what context they are using the word phone. She answered the phone, the telephone. Okay, so this is the word that I'm looking for. But look here, look here. Phone can also be not only a noun, it can be a verb, informal, call on the telephone, por telefono, llamar. You see, it has two meanings, telefono, but it's also a verb. It's llamar. She phoned me yesterday. Ella me llamó ayer. Me telefonó ayer. That's what they say. You can say, I'm going to phone my mom. Phone is also a verb. You see? And I can see many, many, many examples here. Many examples about that. You see? Have you ever heard of that uh, that web page? No? The first no. One? Okay. Yes. Every time. No, never. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Some of you did. When you need to translate a word and you're not sure about the meaning, please go to word references or there's another one called lingua. If you go there, it will give you the word in context. Okay? Yep. Is that better? Is that better, Peter Butter? Okay, I'm going to go with the other thing. Peter Butter. You see, you see, uh -huh, you have it, it's there. Okay. Axel Gabriel Rivera Rodriguez, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present teacher. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Okay. Present teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Francisco Ama Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Uh, Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Kenya Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Okay. Madeline Yamilet Molina Gonzalez. Present. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Present. Telma Cleotín de Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Jessica, okay, Yanari. I didn't see you before. Mm. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Same. Okay, perfect. I'm happy now because I am only missing just one student. Perfect. Okay, you need you know that for the scholarship to continue, you have to be present in class. Okay. Now, let's go to find out the meanings of these words. For example, the first word that I was telling you was job hopper. Let's see if I can find the meaning of job hopper. Okay, it is not here. So in context, I'm gonna find it, wait a second. It's not in word reference. Word reference is just for one word sometimes. It's a person that changed uh, job 
frequently. No problem. No. Okay, they change jobs constantly. Okay, so job hoppers. That's a characteristic of millennials, it says. Do you think if that is a characteristic of millennials? They are job hoppers? Teacher, sorry. It's like they change the work. Teacher. What is it, Erwin? It's like they change to the work. They change jobs. Yes, change the work. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. If they don't like it, they're going to change it. That's what it means. It's a basically. Vladimir, tell me. Fíjese que aquí en español. If you see it up on the platform, there's a 3.5 um, homework that says um, read the following definitions and match the, the they match them the, to the words. And uh, actually, the the definitions are the same as the one that we're actually looking for. And for job hoppers, it says someone who stays at a job for approximately one or two years. Okay, let me see that. Uh, what, what section did you say? 3.5. Okay, thank you for that. It's about job hopping. 3.5. Oh, exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, okay. Well, based on that, we can discuss that. Okay, so this here is the situation. Look, this is what the is saying. One, someone who stays at a job for approximately one to two years. So that what will be? Job hoppers. Job hoppers. Do you know why it's called job hoppers? Because you're hopping from one side to another. <laughs> Okay, hopping, what is hopping? That you jump from one place to another, that you you'll be want, moving. Okay, so you'll be moving from one place to another and that is it. Okay, yes, correct. Help or, well, can you help me read this part please, Thelma? Help or encourage something to increase or improve. Okay, can you repeat encourage? Encourage. 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 Okay, increase. Increase. Thank you very much. So what do you think, guys, it is? The last one. Maybe both. Yes. Boost. boost. To give something a boost is to improve something. To improve something is to boost something. Wait a second, guys. Give me a second. Okay, yes, to boost. Number three. Well, this is, it's not hard to guess because it's there, actually it's yeah. there. Well, nah, too easy. But anyways, help me read it, Jocelyn. Okay, teacher, job tenure is typically measured by the left of type workup. Just let me one moment, have been in the recording job or with the recording employer. And so refers to continuing the spell of employment rather than to complete a spell. Okay, thank it's, you. Is the second one, sorry. Can you? Yeah, can you say this word again? Employer. Okay, employer you said at the beginning. Okay, okay. Oh that yeah. Just, yeah, 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 I know. Job tenure, right? It's the second one. Tenure. Of course. Why would it say job tenure if it was not one? Okay, anyway. And let me read it again. I have been specifically measured by the length of time workers have been in their current job or within their current employer. And so refers to the union spells of employment rather than to complete spells. Okay. Number four, can you read this right here, please? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Marlon. Uh, 
I'm sorry. Uh, it's me, right? Yeah, hi, it's you. Can you read that, please? I have, pro I have problems with the internet. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. okay. And uh, our uh, generalized belief about particular category of people. What do you think mm. is that? Stereotypes. I think Extra. stereotypes. Stereotypes. Okay, we have it right. Yep, we got it right. Stereotypes. Do you know the meaning of that word? Stereotypes. Yes, teacher. What is a stereotype? Some conceptions or misconceptions about the uh, the some group of people or some type of persons. Mm -hmm. uh, something like that. What is a stereotype for Latin people? For Latin people is a, uh, well, you, the Latin people are disorganized people. Uh, Latin people are uh, hard workers, are um, the Latin mamas are a very strong character. <laughs> mamas, okay. Mom, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, but a stereotype can be that we are drug dealers. Sometimes they think about uh, that. Okay, so Latin people, they are gangsters or drug dealers. That's what they do. <laughs> and, and we're like, yes. no, we're not all drug dealers, not gangsters. So what are you talking yes, about? Yes, because, because in the movies, all the bad guys are or Afro-American or Latin people. Exactly. <laughs> so that's a misconception. That is a stereotype. Yeah. Stereotypes can be good and bad. But sometimes, like, most of the time, they are bad stereotypes. OK, let's continue here with a second. What am I? What am I? What am I? What am I? OK, stereotypes, you can reach the hoppers. OK, let's go here. Um, this part we're going to continue with the topic that you asked me to reinforce that was fair conductions so here we have the, no, the the other one this one we saw the last time right we saw either or so that one we know already is to talk about choice either or so can you help me reading this part right here fernando Okay. Uh, either or presents a choice between two options. Okay. Presents a what? A choice. Okay. Between two options. Thank you. And can you please read this for here, Janari? Okay. The verb which follows two subjects joined by or must agree with the second subject. Thank you very much. So we have an example. Sorry. Do you mind reading it, please? What is the Sorry, no, what is the oh. Thank you. Me? Exactly. Yeah. Millions are either self entitled or self entitled. Can you read this again? Million, millennials, millennials. Millennials, uh -huh. millennials are either self-entitled or self-entitled. Okay, read with me. Self-entitled. Self-entitled. Self-centered. Self-centered. Excellent, that's better. Self-entitled or self-centered. Okay, can you help me? Reading this one right here, please. Madeline. Either John or Rick is going to prepare, prepare the progress report on the project. Okay, thank you very much. Either John or Rick are going to do it. John or Rick are going to prepare. I think that bird needs to be R. Well, whatever. Okay. 
Okay, let's go with the second one. Okay, either or it's the one that we already saw. We knew what we were talking about. But now we're gonna talk about whether or. Can you please read whether or this part? Let me see. Well, that part. Um, William. William Alexander. Okay. Um, whether or is used to express doubt or choice between two possibilities. Thank you very much. So we can use it to express doubt or choice. This one, just choice, but this one we can express doubt as well. Okay, let's go with this one right here. Okay, let me see. Blanca, help me read in there, please. Teacher. Yep. Sorry, I can I can read. I, I I'm gonna minimize the the screen. Okay. The new guy didn't know whether to quit or to keep his job during his first day. Thank you very much, Blanca. Good pronunciation. Okay, so the good the new guy didn't know what to do. So what were the options? To quit or keep working? Those were the two options that the new guy had. Okay. So we have option, but we also have choice in this example. Um, Jocelyn, would you please read the second statement, please? This one. I don't know whether millennials are difficult to work with or not. Okay, so we don't know. It's a choice. It's a dog. So if millennials are difficult to work with or not. Because maybe this person has met millennials who are really good workers, and this person has known got to know millennials who are really difficult to work with. So we don't know. It's a doubt. Okay. Now this one choice. This one doubt and choice. Two options that we have right there. Now let's go with statements that we have here. We have six statements to practice. Let's do the first one together. The future of a company depends on either there is an investment or not on employee training. Hmm. What do you think is whether the future of a company depends on whether there is an investment? I think or the second one, whether. Yeah, exactly. It makes, it makes sense. Weather. The future of a company depends on whether that is an investment or not on employee training. Or the future of a company depends on an investment, whether. Yeah, I will. Guys, well, here's the situation. And you will realize about this quickly. Sometimes there are mistakes in this book. This is a mistake, okay? This is not something else, so this is a mistake right here. It will be like, the future of a company depends on whether there is an investment or on employee training. Makes sense, right? It sounds better. Because the future of a company, it's either the investment or employee training. Okay, let's go with the following ones. Let me see. Okay, number two, three, four, five, six, you're gonna do them, okay? Take a screenshot because we're gonna go to the break rooms to do these activities together. Try to talk with your classmates. Why do you think is that option? Don't just say, okay, number two is that, that this, the number three is this and that, number four is this and that, number five this, number four, six this. It's not about that, okay? You need to go ahead and think about it. Why are we writing this? Is this the best option? Do you take the screenshot already? Yep or not? I have the manual teach. Okay, perfect. Yeah, That's better. That's even better. Okay. And there we go.
you think is weather or either? Mm. The third. Whether you decide to encourage millennials ambition or to set weather? Weather, yes. Weather. Yes, I can see this weather or either. Okay, like weather. Weather, Kenya, guys, you... weather is um, the option, right? Weather is the clima. So don't say weather, okay? Sorry. Weather. Okay. Sorry. This weather. 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 Weather, okay. With the weather. weather. Okay, weather. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with, uh, uh, okay, okay. I wasn't scared because I, if I play YouTube videos, uh, my, my video is gonna get banned. <laughs> Okay. Is what? Capitan lo llega a decir. Maybe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Teacher. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Can you correct us? Mm -hmm. It's a right or wrong? Do we have a mistake? Let me, let me, let me, let me do it. You have the bus provider to the number or the millennial folks are asking for a change. Either. Okay. Even if you decide to encourage millennials and patients mm -hmm. or to Yeah, either. Whether let them express their ideals or let them go. Being in charge of millennials is difficult. Do whether you have communication around the stuff or table. Unappreciated. Social media has enabled millennials to be powerful vehicles of making it, of marketing. Well, this is good. Um, can you move it because I, I cannot see. Can you move because I cannot read the rest of the sentence? All right, excellent. Whether this is for whether this is for good or bad. It's still okay, okay, yeah, they're good. Perfect. Good job, guys. Okay, Francisco, ¿cómo le va a decir? Luisimos. We did it. We did it. <laughs> that also that means you're watching Dora the Explorer now. Yeah. Good job. Good job, guys. <laughs> good job. Either. Either you love me or you don't. Either or. <laughs> Either. Okay. Either you love me or you not. You either wrap communication around respect or they will be unappreciated. Maybe we never used to be powerful by performance. This is for good or bad. Okay, I understand. And then the sixth. The number six is weather, right? Social media has enabled millennials.
Hello. Okay, welcome back. We are going to do, do the activity and you're gonna tell me your answers, okay? So let's share the screen and I'm gonna ask one by one to tell me the answers they got as a group. Okay, number two, Fatima. What was your answer in number two? Either the bus provides opportunities for learning or the millennials will start asking for a change. Okay. Either the bus provides opportunities for learning or the millennials will start asking for a change. Does someone has anything different from this? No? No, I agree. Okay, let's go with number three. Edwin. Yes, teacher. Okay. Number three. Mm -hmm. Let me <clears throat> Okay, whether you decide to announce millennials ambition or set boundaries for their behavior, will the plan of the development plan for employees? Okay, whether, whether, okay, or, right? Something coming in the computer. Okay, whether, right? Yes, yes. Whether, and the other one is, or, or. right? Thank you, Erwin. Thank you. And you just say this word, boundaries. This is boundaries, okay? Boundaries. Okay, thank you very much. Kenya, number four. You either let them express their ideals or let them go. You? Either? Either let them express their ideals or let them go. Does someone have something different? Okay, perfect. Number five, let's see, Harvey. Okay. Being in charge of millennium is difficult. You will read communication around respect or they will feel inappreciated. Appreciated. Being in charge of you either. Okay, does someone have something different? What, what, what the solution? Weather. You say weather. You weather grab communication around respect or they will feel unappreciated. I think it's either. I think it's either because there is a a choice. Exactly. It's either because there's choice. Either. But thank you, Harvey. Yes. It's either because whether it's doubt. But in this case, it's not a doubt. They will feel unappreciated. So in this case, it's either. Let's go with the number six. Social media has enabled, I mean, I'm sorry, but why am I reading this? You're supposed to want. Okay. Andres Giovanni. Okay, social media has enabled millennials to be a powerful vehicle for marketing, uh, whether this is for good or bad, it is still to be seen. Okay, whether it is good or bad. Does someone has anything different from that or do you agree? I agree, teacher. Okay, perfect. This word, guys, right here is vehicle. 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 Okay. Powerful vehicle for marketing. Okay. Perfect. Good job. You did a good job, guys. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to go with a conversational practice. I have some questions for you that I would like you to answer. The first one is. How was, oh no, wait, wait, wait a sec. What was your first 
job. Did you like it? Second question. Okay, these are the uh, two questions that I want you to talk about. Oh, sorry, indeed. Okay, how, what was your first job? Did you like it and how was it? I'm sorry, how was it? How was it? Okay, what was your first job? Did you, I'm Did sorry, you, I don't know. You. Yeah, I'm sorry, my, my dyslexia. How, what was your first job? Did you like it? How was it? How was your first week as an employee? Okay, so the first one is gonna be, what was your first job? Let's think about the first job that you ever had. The first one, the very first one. Did you like it? That was a good job or a bad job? And how was it? How was the experience? How was the experience? What was, it was good, it was bad, what was involved? And the number two is how was your first week as an employee? How was the first week? Do you remember the first days? Were they difficult or were they easy to go? Or I don't know, they were complex. You're gonna tell me, well, you're not gonna tell me that. Take a screenshot if you can. And we're gonna discuss these questions in the break rooms. But I want you to speak. I don't want you to be like, my first job was teacher. I like it. It was good. You're not basic level, okay? So Can don't you tell put me. that in the in the chat of the Zoom teacher, sir? Can you? Yeah, I can send that in the chat. How was your first job? Did you like it? Did you like it? How was it? Mm. How was your first week as an employee? Okay. And we're gonna talk about these questions again. I don't want you to be like, okay, my first job, teacher. I, I like it. And it was good. No, tell me, tell me your experience. Tell me, try to think about it. Business good that you work for, everything that you remember. Why do I want you to do this? Because I want you to share your job experience. Also, you have to share and you have to speak as much as you can, but let your classmates speak as well, okay? Don't be the one who calls on the mic and nobody else is speaking, okay? Is the activity clear for you guys? Or not? Yes, it is. Yeah, it is perfect. It's clear. Clear. Okay, let me see. Okay, let's go. Please join the breaker rooms. Marlon, are you there, Marlon?
Marlon.
Wow. Okay. When who is next? Kenya. You're next. Okay. I remember that my first job was in a store. I was selling food for cats and dogs, but I really hate that job <laughs> because clients were so rude and antipathetic with me. And okay. I sometimes have to feel lift. I think it is the, the word. I have to lift uh, the costales. Yes. And I didn't have the... Heavy. Uh, yeah. It was heavy. It. Yes. Yes. So, uh, so I just grabbed them <laughs> into the floor. And <laughs> it was a, a difficult time for me, but I learned how to be independent and I save money to buy my own things. Sí. Sorry, it's not allowed to speak in English. In Spanish, sorry. It's not allowed to speak in Spanish, in English. Okay, okay, continue.
Okay. Hello. Okay, it was interesting. The stories that I heard were interesting. Like, it seems like everybody hated the first job. Almost everybody hated the first job. Let me see, let me see, let me see. This is the group. Okay. Axel Gabriel Rivera Rodríguez, Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo, present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores, like in the break room still, maybe. Well, she's not, okay. Um, David Samuel Galdamez Monterrosa, present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez, present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Ok. Uh, Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Ok. Today I'm going to stay with Madeline, right? Okay, have a good night guys. Go have some rest. I know you're tired, so I will see you guys tomorrow and then the weekend. Okay. Have a good bye. night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Good bye. Bye. Good have a good, good night. night. Madeline. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, a little bit tired, but you're good. Tired. Yeah. Did you work all day? Yes, all the day. What's your schedule? Uh, from 8 to 5. From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you get home at what time? Um, 6, like 6, 6 to 30. Oh, maybe, okay. from, depending on the traffic. <laughs> the traffic is the main stuff. And where do you work? What? Where do you work? In San Salvador. Uh, and I yeah. live in Santa Tecla, but yeah, the traffic is. And you go by problem. car or on bus? By bus. By bus. By bus. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And where, where exactly do you work? Uh, in, in front of. Uh, the ex dos oh, but the, the, the name I mean I'm, I mean the <laughs> name of the of the ah the, the company yeah the company's name ah uh, gestionadora de créditos what is it gestionadora de créditos that's the name of the company yes oh okay 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 so you work with credit I didn't listen I don't listen you can you listen to me now Yes. Okay. So you work with credit? Yes, with oh. uh, card credits. Credit oh, cards. I'm sorry. Credit. Mm -hmm. Credits for cars. To buy no, a car? Credit cards. Oh, uh -huh. credit card. Credit card, yes. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. But with client that didn't pay the card. Oh, so you work for banks? Yes. 
Oh, I get it, I get it. So you're the ones in charge of the payment. Yeah. Um, okay. uh, I guess that's a difficult job, right? Yeah, uh, I already see like diff different kind of clients, uh, good and bad. <laughs> uh, it's difficult to try to talk with. with Is it their. stressful? Yeah. And someday, yes. And in this moment, it's a little bit because uh, we have to get uh, good payments in. Okay. At the end of the month. By the end of the month, you have to get good payments. Mm -hmm. But I, I am the receptionist. I, oh. Uh huh. Oh, okay, okay. But I well, received <laughs> different kind of clients. Yeah, you're the yeah. one, the first one they see. Sometimes, yeah, they, yeah, they complain to you. Yeah, I get it. Okay. The first reaction. Yeah. Yeah, you're the first reaction. The first person they see. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, is there something that I can help you with related with the class? Mm, in this moment, I think no. Okay, I yes. only will, I only want to learn more vocabulary or verbs because for, in my case, I, it's difficult. <laughs> and I try to, to learn them, but it's difficult for me. And would you like to work at a call center? Yes, but it's in Spanish. But you you would like to work in a call center, uh, in English call center? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm guessing that you will get a better payment. Yeah. yeah that is good. the reason that I'm learning. And also because I like it. Right now, if you want my advice, I think you're good to go. If you apply at a call center, you'll get the job. Because they don't need you to speak like fluent English. You see, you have other classmates and they don't speak a fluent English. What they need you to do is to receive the calls, to get the calls. And they will give you the vocabulary, they will give you the training. So if you want my advice, is go ahead. I think you will make it. Really? Yeah, okay, six I, weeks. I am afraid because I, I think that I need to improve more, but I will like it. My advice for every single student is the same. If they want to want to work at a center. I have had students that are really bad in English and they start working at a call center and they improve quickly because they speak the language every day. So what I would advise is to start with teleperformance mm -hmm. because that's the most, I don't know, they hire everybody. And then when you have a year there, at a, about a year or something like that, then jump and look for another call center. For example, look for the office gurus or TELUS. Those are the best call centers that I will recommend you to work on. But with your English right now, you're good to go to teleperformance. Perfect. Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the, that I need to improve, I think, but... And that isn't in my problem because I, I don't believe. <laughs> you'll see, you'll get there. It's not a big deal. They need you because it's, it's because you're gonna say the same things all over. So you're gonna say the same things and you're gonna get the same calls and you're gonna do the same things. So it's not a big deal. It's not complicated. Mm -hmm. But you need to start with a basic one, a performance or sites. And then jump to the office guru or the tel telu. That's my advice. My mom said that the same <laughs> that I have to go in a call center, but uh, I don't believe in in my. <laughs> I'm telling you, oh. I have had students that I speak English to them. And they always answer in Spanish. They go to the call center and they they get the job. Yeah, so don't worry about it. It's relax, believe in yourself. That's the first thing you mm -hmm. do, believe in yourself. And then work there. I don't know how much money you're making right now, but at a call center, I'm sure that you're going to make $600 of like this. Uh, is more than I earning right now and 
And even better, you get the chance with some accounts to work from home. Okay. You'll and save you time. At, uh, a call center. No. What is it? Did you work in a call center before? I did, just for two weeks, but I'm too weak with pressure. But you already okay. have the experience with clients and difficult clients. For me, yeah. it's a no. I, I can't deal with difficult people. So mm. I'm, I'm good to be a teacher, but at a call center, I was not good. <laughs> because oh. in my case, I'm not good with that. Not at all. Oh. Okay. But I have many friends who work at a call center, and when they are growing, they are making more. Sometimes you're going to get so far that you're going to make $400 every 15 days. So that would be like $800 uh, a month plus bonus. Oh, and the problem that I have uh, at the same time is you have, I don't understand the, when the clients uh, tell me something. Um, yeah, but you'll get there. It's with the practice, Madeline. It's with mm -hmm. the practice. So, but if you're waiting for the perfect time and you have the perfect English, you're never going to start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just if go I ahead. never practice, I never will improve. <laughs> And the same thing, they give you like six weeks introduction and they give yeah. you the vocabulary, they give you nesting, they, they, they will do nesting, nesting it means that you're going to have, that you're going to be taking calls and a mm -hmm. person is going to be helping you to take the calls. Uh, okay. And then when you get to it, like it will get be there like two weeks and then you're going to be alone, but they will train you first. Um, like a, one, a, one month? Six weeks of training, and then you go with nesting for two weeks. It's like about two months. Oh. I will try in the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to try to finish maybe this um, first, and then go ahead. You're good. Okay. Go. okay. Thank you okay. for your advice. <laughs> yes, it's okay. it's my pleasure. Okay, Marilyn. I will let you go to sleep because it's late already and maybe you need to be up early tomorrow because you need to work and I need to work as well. So I will see you tomorrow night, okay? Okay, thank you for all. Okay, have a good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.